Okay, we're doing a video here on 23rd of September, Monday, 5 o'clock, and we're going to open up this package the right way. Pull tab here. Okay, that worked. Pull this tab. Okay, that worked. Go United Postal Service. Yay! Priority mail. Flat rate. It did come from San Diego. It weighs a ton. Okay. Here's what it says right there. Oh, I don't know. Can you read that? I don't know. San Diego, California. Okay. I'll just throw it out. There we go. That was the trash can sound. Now, here is the other part. The trick of doing this adjust that. Just cut the always in a nice degree angle. Flip it out like that. And voila. Open. Oh, look at there. Look what's inside there. That's my amplifier. Yay. It's kind of heavy. Uh, okay. Don't need the knife no more. Put that away. Put the scissors away. The shears. And turn it down. Oh, it's in the back. Okay. So this is the amp. It's a 2.4 gigahertz wireless LAN booster. It says it's supposed to do 8 watts, so or 800 or 8,000 milliwatts, but we'll see. This is the input right there for 12 volt DC RF in right here and RF out here and the state will tell you right here with the LED light. Right now, nothing. So, comes with a adapter, US, 12 volts at 2 amps. Um, 2 amps is going to make 8 watts of power, really? Hmm. Since when? That's going to be very interesting. And look, they only have this much wire. They couldn't do the whole six foot or eight foot. No, of course not. Too much noise, right? Okay. Anyway, I'll plug it in. Since I know what I'm doing with this, this is the antenna. It came with it. I don't remember what gain it is. I'll probably have to label it on my um, YouTube video. So I'm gonna plug this in here. So, well, take this off, idiot. There we go. Alright. Go. Then, take this off the plug. Screw this in tight. Cassie's gonna love me. <laughs> I'm gonna take the router away from her for a moment. Uh. And yes, I should have listened to John. I should have got two of these, and that would have had what, 16 watts of power? Well, modified my 
router here. It is a dual band wireless NG router WRT320N and I drilled it right there and there. Hooked them up where the antennas were, desoldered them off and then I'll plug this in, in there and hopefully it will do the difference. But I'm going to probably get into the system and turn it all the way down on the lowest setting on power output before I continue on this video. That would be the smart thing to do, right? Alright, and if you're wondering what I'm using for an antenna and power for this router, I have to get too sidetracked from everything. This is a 12 volt 5 amp. I got that online as well. And I'll plug it into the router as soon as I get done here. And I'm also using one of these um, 2.4 gigahertz wireless intensive antennas. It's supposed to be a Yagi antenna. I guess it's using this part to do the actual, and this is the guide of the waveform. I'm sure that's probably how this works. But I'll plug this into here and try the other stuff later. And then I'll come back with the second video after I have changed the router's output. Alright, for now this is Drew, saying later. Bye bye.